Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your Practice Production Pearl of the Week. Our topic this week is a very niche topic, the superstar team member. Now we all love our superstars. We love them in sports, we love them in music, and we love them in entertainment. We'll pay a lot more money for superstars because we know they will deliver a better performance. Our team is more likely to win. The music will be better as we listen to it. The entertainment will be more entertaining. So we love superstars, but now let's go to the practice. There are two types of superstars in the practice. And I want to warn you, I'm not going to be making a recommendation in this pearl. I'm going to give you things to think about. Usually I like to give you direction, but I'm going to let you think about this one because that's the only right way to approach it. If you have a superstar, it's one of two types of superstars. The first type, fantastic, a motivator, cheerleader, mentor to other team members, drives that practice forward, propels it to success and beyond. But the other type is what I call the destructive superstar. They are in the practice and their personality, their behavior, their characteristics, or even their character is destructive. They upset other team members. They drive off other team members. They're unpleasant to new team members. They don't like their power base threatened in any way. They, you know, they have two faces sometimes, one for the doctor, the good face, one for the rest of the team. These are destructive superstars and the doctor becomes more and more dependent on them, especially as they drive off other people, but they're only going to let you get to a certain level and you're not going to go beyond. Now, should that destructive superstar be terminated? I'm not going to answer that question. But there's another type of superstar I'm going to share with you with the team member who has high longevity. They've been there a long time. And I call that longevity power. It may not be earned power because of quality and skill, but it, they've been there a long time. And they drive off people and upset people. They may not even have good customer service skills, but because they've been there a long time, they remain and they have some level of destruction. So, should you terminate them? I'm not suggesting you do or don't. I want you to be more aware. One last point. What if you don't have a superstar? Do you need to go out there and get one of those really good superstars? No. Uh, there are endless great teams with good, good team members who do a phenomenal job, drive the practice forward, they engage in teamwork, and it's why blow up that ecosystem? You got a good thing going. As always, I wish you increased practice production every year, and I'll see you next week.